spray shaving foam all over your bathroom and you'll never use another bathroom cleaner. Because you probably know that shaving cream can do a lot more than help you shave. But here are 7 incredible tricks for your bathroom with shaving cream that everyone should know. And the first trick is doubly ingenious, you'll find out why in a moment. Because you should grab a broom and use it to clean your bathtub, namely with shaving foam. The advantage is that the shaving foam makes your bathtub really clean again and thanks to the broom you don't even have to bend down. To do this you should spread some shaving foam on your broom. Once you've done that start cleaning out the whole bathtub. You may need to add a little shaving cream in between. Make sure that there is some shaving cream everywhere. A thin layer is enough. Because what you should do afterwards is wait. This will allow the shaving foam to work in and achieve its full cleansing effect. So wait about 30 minutes before you start the second step. For this step wipe the entire bathtub again with the broom so that you now get rid of all dirt. In the last step you only have to rinse the bathtub so that all the shaving foam has disappeared. Everything shines again and that only thanks to a little shaving foam. And with the help of the broom as I said you could make sure that you didn't have to bend down while cleaning the bathtub. So it's also a very back friendly alternative method of cleaning the bathtub. This brings us straight to trick number 2. You can achieve practically good cleaning results with shaving foam on chrome and stainless steel surfaces. The reason is that shaving foam is water repellent. This also has other advantages which I will explain to you in more detail in a moment. So if you have a lot of limescale stains for example on your shower fittings all you need is a little shaving foam. Grab it and spread it all over the taps in the first step. Spray a little all over and then spread it with your hands so that a thin layer of shaving cream is really all over. Once you have done this you should wait a little while because the shaving foam now needs some time to develop its full cleaning power. Wait about 30 minutes before you start the next step. All you need is a damp cloth. Now wipe it once over all surfaces. You don't have to remove all the shaving foam, just wipe it all over. You can remove all the residue from the shaving foam with water. Grab your shower head and rinse everything thoroughly. This way you really remove the remains of the shaving foam. Rub everything dry again and the lime scale stains are history. And the advantage is that you now have a thin layer of shaving foam on top. You have sealed the tap with it and new lime scale won't form so quickly. So you have a little longer to rest and don't have to start cleaning so quickly. And what works on the shower fittings also works on your shower door. It doesn't matter whether it's made of glass or plastic. To do this take some shaving foam again and spread it on a cloth this time. This way you can spread it over the entire door much better. Now start rubbing it all over the door. Afterwards you should let it work for a while. You will then notice that all the limescale stains actually disappear and are removed. When the soaking time is over you should start to wipe everything off again. To do this rub the cloth with a dry cloth until you can no longer see any shaving foam. In fact you can remove it streak free by doing this. And again this has two advantages. The first is simply that your shower door is now completely clean again and free of limescale. And the second advantage is that we have sealed the door. This again brings the beading effect into play which ensures that water no longer sticks here but simply runs down. You can see the whole thing really clearly here. In this way you ensure that limescale can no longer form so quickly because the water stains simply run down and do not stick so strongly to the door. So you don't have to clean so often if you regularly rub your glass with a little shaving foam. For the next trick you need a brush. You can do it without one but this one makes it much easier to use. So grab a brush again and some shaving cream for this. We now put a good amount of shaving foam directly on the brush. We can use this to spread the shaving foam on the spot. What we do with it exactly is to rub the shower tray. In principle you can also do this with the broom. But especially in the small corners and creeps the brush is much better suited for this. In the larger areas you can also spread it very well. But even here in your drain for example you can go in really nicely with the brush. You can also spread it perfectly with the brush on the shower door or on small edges, corners and in the silicon joint. Afterwards leave it to work for 30 minutes, wipe through again and then rinse everything off again. This way your shower tray and all the little nooks and crannies will be clean again. It also removes dirt from the silicon joint perfectly and all the lime scale that always collects here at the bottom on the shower is also completely gone afterwards. 
And that's not all, you can really clean with shaving foam. You can even use it in your toilet. Shaving foam is also perfect for cleaning ceramic surfaces. Another advantage is that the toilet will smell really nice and pleasant. Because shaving foam also contains fragrances that make it smell less stinky and more pleasant. Spread a good amount of shaving foam in your toilet. In the next step, you can put some on the toilet brush and really spread it all over. Also try to squeeze some of the shaving foam under the rim of your toilet. Once you have spread it everywhere, you should leave it to work for 30 minutes, so that the shaving foam can develop its full cleaning power. When the time is up, go through everything again with the toilet brush and finally, you only have to flush the toilet once more, so that all the shaving foam disappears from the toilet. And you've cleaned it perfectly. It shines like new again. Everything is clean and it smells pleasantly fresh. You can do this regularly or you can use it as an emergency solution if you run out of toilet cleaner but still have some shaving foam at home. And what works in the toilet also works with your toilet brush. Put a good amount of shaving cream on the toilet brush. You can even do both of these things at the same time. Once you have put some shaving foam on the toilet brush, you should of course spread it all over the toilet brush to clean it. The problem is that you don't want to touch it. And for this, after you have put the shaving foam on it, you can wipe it through your toilet, so that you can kill two birds with one stone. Because when you wipe it through the toilet, you make sure that it's all over the toilet brush and your toilet at the same time. So if the toilet brush looks like this now, it's best to tuck it under your seat here. That way it doesn't hang in the water. Everything can soak in really nicely and you don't have to put it anywhere else. And the drops that still fall will fall directly in your toilet. When the time is up, you can wipe through the toilet again. At the end, flush again and make sure that the toilet brush is completely free of shaving foam under the flushing water. Afterwards, it will be completely clean, sterilized and smell pleasantly fresh. To dry it now, you can also tuck it back under your toilet seat. That way you won't have all the water in that little collection tray where the toilet brush is. And our last trick is also a two-in-one trick. For this one you should spread shaving foam on your mirror. Of course this will clean the mirror completely and I will show you another advantage in a moment. For this you should spread a very thin layer of shaving foam on your mirror. So put a small amount on, grab a dry cloth and spread it evenly over the entire mirror surface. I've only done half the mirror now to show you the incredible before and after result. Now leave it on for 20 minutes, then grab a dry cloth and start wiping it all off again. You can keep wiping until there's no more shaving foam on the mirror and it's really streak free at the end. Another advantage is that when you take a shower, the mirror will no longer mist up. The shaving foam ensures that water and steam can no longer stick to the mirror. As you can see, the mirror used to fog off completely when I took a shower. But now you can see exactly where I spread the shaving foam on the mirror, because it no longer fogs up. So you have a clear view. Do you still want to know why you should mix salt and cola? Then watch the video I'm linking to you here.